The 11 seed Temple just defeated the 6 seed Wichita State 72-59. to I'm Haley Outen, joined alongside Temple head coach Tanya Cardoza. Coach, congratulations on this win in the first round. Um, I know it's been a season filled with diversity, some heartbreaking losses. What does this win mean for your team today just to be able to advance into the quarterfinals? You know, yes, it's been a disappointing season in the sense that we've lost some players and it's not the season that we were expecting. Um, but over the last month, I think that we've been playing a harder and it hasn't resulted into wins, but we've been really enjoying each other's company. A lot of times when you're losing, it's hard to find bright spots. and. In practice, I've been just trying to find bright spots and for them to now come in, you know, we finished almost dead last and to be able to pull out a win against a team we just lost to at, um, at their place. I, I know my players feel really good about this. A lot of new faces on the court for your team this year. One of those is freshman Imani Mayo. 20 points today for her. What does her contribution do for this team as such a young player with a bright future ahead? It's huge. I mean, and she's playing with so much confidence. Um, you know, being able to knock down the three, uh, that's huge. And the one thing about Imani is she plays both sides of the ball. Um, I feel like before her career is over here that she's going to be one of those pl players where you're thinking about voting for her for Defensive Player of the Year. But she's been playing with so much confidence. And, you know, she's the type of kid, she's just going to do whatever her team needs. And today we needed her to step up and make shots, and she did. Your senior, your veteran leader, Tanea Atkinson, 24 points. It seems like watching, she really knows how to put this team on her back and carry a lot of the weight. Uh, what is your view of Tanaya and just her role on this team, especially here in the postseason? I mean, her role has been she's the team. Basically, what, whatever happens with our team is going to be because of you. Yes, you have these young guys that are going to follow you, but you have to be a good leader. And I thought that she's done a tremendous job of putting the team on her back. And again, every single night, she has to go out and try to score a lot of points and knowing that the other team is trying to find ways to stop her and she's been successful. Um, but her career, she's been, you know, basically behind the scenes. You know, she might have glimpses and this year she was thrown into it and she lived up to everything. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. I'm now joined by Temple senior guard, Tanea Atkinson. Tanea, for you, it's obviously been a tough ride for your team this season. So what was your mindset heading into this tournament in a win or go home situation? Um, I feel like we all really focused in on just playing for each other at this point. We didn't want to leave today. And I feel like we played like we did. And I feel like we got every loose ball we could get. We got every rebound we need to get. And I feel like our freshmen stepped up big today. Even though Imani had a lot of points today, but I feel like Desiree did some great things, Bree did some great things. And even though Mia got in a foul trouble, she did some great things. I feel like right now we, actually understanding and growing from where we were last time for us to lose to Wichita State and then beat them this time. You mentioned the freshman contribution, a lot of new faces out there. As a senior and as a veteran who has been here before, how do you help them along in the postseason? Um, you know, I just try to do everything I could do possible. You know, I keep trying to tell them they miss a shot, shoot the next one, because you won't know if it's going until you shoot it. I just want them to be very confident and just to be relaxed. I feel like they feel like they got to rush and just try to do everything perfect, like they're not going to make mistakes. But I feel like I definitely try to lead them in a way where they could relax, calm down, and they could just play their own basketball. Throughout your time at Temple, you've experienced the highs and you've experienced some of the lows. Mm -hmm. Does that add any extra pressure for you in possibly your final games in this Temple uniform? Um, no, I feel like this year, even though it wasn't the year we expected, I feel like it was a blessing. You know, I learned things on and off the court. Like off the court, I learned how to be a leader. I have four little freshmen who look at me as their big sister. And I feel like that role puts a lot of pressure on me to make sure I'm perfect. Make sure I do everything so they can't look at me and say, well, Tanea, you know. And then on the court, it just shows me that I could actually be patient. I could actually find other ways to get people to score and for myself to score. So it definitely was a good ride, you know. Everything that we did at Temple was amazing, I feel like, and I'm happy to say I was here to accomplish some of the stuff. As the leader in your locker room, what's going to be the message when you see your team here after this game as you prepare to win another game tomorrow? Um, right now we're just focusing on going into film, watching film, studying scout, coming in the shoot around, focus, and same messages today, play hard go home you know you just got to go out there like it's literally your last game because win or lose either you win you stay you lose you go home so I feel like just sending that message on how you want to go out is what gets these guys going all right good luck to you tomorrow thank you